Hi everyone, in this video I will be cloning a larger drive to a smaller drive. I will be cloning a 500 gigabyte drive down to a 256 gigabyte drive. I will be using free and open source software and you just need a USB drive in order to do this. I will be using a 4 gigabyte USB drive. So in disk management here I have disk 0 and it's 500 gigabytes. Here's my C drive and here's disk 1. It's 256 gigabytes, and here is my 4 gigabyte USB drive. And so in order to clone my larger 500 gigabyte drive down to a smaller drive, I will need to shrink my usable space on it down to 249.98 gigabytes. So I can shrink my C drive, but I will need to know how much. First, I'm going to convert everything to megabytes, as that is the unit that is used. So my disk one here is 249.98 gigabytes. Open up calculator. And so it's 255, 979 rounded down. And my EFI partition is 100 megabytes. And the recovery partition is 768 megabytes. So I'm gonna subtract it from it minus 100, minus 768, and you got 255111 rounded down. And if you want to be extra safe, you can lower it from, for example, 255111 down to 255100. But for this, I'm going to keep it as it is, 255111 megabytes. So to shrink the C drive, right click, shrink volume, and I'm not just going to put 255.111 in here. What I need to do is take the total size, which is 498.825, and subtract it 255.111 from earlier, and I get 243.714. Now, if I don't have enough space to shrink it by this amount, then I would have to move or delete some files. So I am going to shrink it. 243714 shrink. All right, it's done. And this was the hardest part, just doing the calculations. Everything from here is easier. Next, what I want to do is move the unallocated space to the right and the recovery partition to the left. So in other words, I don't want this unallocated space in between. I need it to the right. And to do that, I'm going to use Gparted. So I'm going to download RescueZilla which has Gparted included in it. So I'm going to rescuezilla.com and then click on download and then download the ISO file. And once done, you need to download Rufus. And Rufus is used to create a bootable USB drive with the RescueZilla ISO. And I'm going to go to rufus.ie and scroll down and download the portable version. And once both are downloaded, Going to open up Rufus. Yes. Yes. Select your USB drive. Select the ISO. RescueZilla. Partition scheme GPT. And leave the rest as defaults. And hit start. OK. And it says that another programmer process is accessing this drive. That's because I have disk management up. Just going to hit yes. And it's giving a final warning. OK. And hit close. And I'm going to reboot my computer now and go into the BIOS. Hit delete. Go my BIOS. First, going to disable secure boot so I can boot my USB drive. And then going to secure boot. And then secure boot enabled and I'm going to change it to disabled. I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to go into my boot options and ensure my USB drive is selected. And then save changes and reset. Okay, it's booted into the USB drive. RescueZilla screen comes up here and hit English. Okay. All right, the welcome screen comes up. Close it, and then we're going to run Gparted. 
At the top right, select your disk. In my case, it's dev SDA, 488 gigabytes. And we can see here, here's my unallocated space that's in between the 238 gigabytes. And here's my recovery partition, 768 megabytes. So I am going to move this, right click, resize move. And we're going to have zero free space proceeding. So all the free space will be after zero. And then resize move. And as a warning, hit OK. And at the bottom, it says it's going to move it to the left, one operation pending, and hit the check mark to apply. Apply. Close. And we see here it's to the right now. So the recovery partition is now before it, which is good. All right, and now we are ready to do the clone. Open up RescueZilla, and then go to Clone, and go to Next. All right, and I'm going to select my source drive, which is the 500 gigabyte drive, drive number one. Hit Next. And the destination drive, so it's going to be, for me, the 250 gigabyte drive. It's going to be number two. Next. And here it's asking to select the partitions to clone. So I'm going to be cloning everything. So I'm going to leave it as is. Next. And then here it's just confirming and hit next when ready. Are you sure you want to clone? Yes. And then depending on how fast your computer is and how much data you have to clone may take a little bit of time. It has completed. Hit next. I'm going to close RescueZilla. And now I'm going to shut down my computer, unplug the USB drive, and unplug my 500 gigabyte drive as well so that I can boot directly from the 256 gigabyte drive. Go to login. I'm going to go to disk management. All right, and we can see here my 256 gigabyte drive. There's the EFI partition, there's the C drive, and there's my recovery partition. And if I go to downloads, and you see all the files are there. So that's it. That's how you can clone a larger drive to a smaller drive. The important thing is to shrink the total use or allocated space so the partition table can fit on the smaller drive. I hope this video was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.